Hello. Okay, so yesterday I was playing Courage and I was having some fun and I made a tactical decision which actually didn't work out, which is quite interesting. Um, but it crashed on me, which is pretty unusual. I mean, my PC's new, it's not like a high spec one or anything, but uh, it works. So um, I was quite surprised. So it's interesting because I had to make a decision whether I went back to an earlier save or I carried on and now that it crashed it gives me the opportunity to start again so basically that's what I'm going to do so for most of this it isn't my first playthrough um, so I mean I actually think that that's quite important I think it, it changes how we we see things so here we are let's let's play all right so as I mentioned before, I really enjoyed this start. I like not just sort of looking or fading to black or something. I mean, some kind of movement is pretty cool. And okay, I've decided to drop in here. Now, the first thing you see is what looks to be an incredibly well-built area. Custom textures here. Whole idea looks pretty cool, okay. You're given a few moments to think about what's happening. And then suddenly, you hear the sounds. Now, now you're given a few weapons. There's one behind me, I think. And there he is. Now, what's going to happen is I need. Whoop, that's definitely a. Right, so I've run out of ammo. I'm in big trouble now. Pick up a shotgun and a crowbar. But anyway, basically what needs to happen is I need to get into this simulator. Now, to do that, I must kill everything. And it took me a while to understand that. What you can see here is Danger Robinson. The immediate area is not safe. System access locked. Okay. So... What I need to do, I'm too far away, I'm telling you, is I need to save ammo. Oh, come on! Now, run! I'm in big trouble. Okay. Oh, I'm in super big trouble. All right, now I'm going to explore these areas. That was interesting. I wonder if I could do something with that. Not really. So if I can tease him into There we go. Now if I can stay quite close to him, we should take out most of those zombies for me. Oh, another one. Right. So my objective here is to save as much ammo as possible, he says, as he kills somebody. Now, you'll notice the sound has stopped and everything's clear. Now, I've got a set amount of time, so I'm going to need to run in here as quickly as possible, start the process, wait for this to become green, and then jump in. Takes a while. And in I go. Now I'm in some kind of simulation. If I've been reading the text along the side, and this is uh, pretty cool. So it's again a very well built area. I've never tried to use the. Okay. Now I'm not going to really go around too far because I know what's happening here. And essentially, I need to get back soon because. When the zombies start coming again, I'll hear it. Now, you can climb up the ladder, press E, ignore that. You just climb up as you would a ladder. Look around. Take a screenshot, perhaps. Jump down if you want to be brave. There we go. And we can help people garden here. Look, that's pretty cool. So, I'll help you. I don't know if I get any points or anything for, for doing lots of those. 
them on the gardener. Go into the house. A very competent build. There's nothing in here to really do, and you'll notice this area is much brighter. Well, what happens is it takes you back. And there we go. That was a bit lucky timing wise. But I've got a new bunch of enemies, and it's pretty much the same as before. So I need. to survive as long as possible. Now to my knowledge, there's no help here. So, oh, bad luck, not down there. There are a lot of dead ends here. A lot of ways that you can go. I'm in serious trouble now. And I'm not playing on easy. I'm tempted to, to cheat, to be honest, which is not very good at all. So the key is to just avoid the combine, the zombine, sorry. Use this crowbar to, to laboriously kill as many. I always have trouble with these. See, what did I tell you? So there's an auto save as you go back in. So, hello. Yeah, I'll help you, whatever. So I'm back in. I'm just going to go straight back out again because I really need to pick up as many weapons or whatever as I can. I tend to stay in this area. Now maybe I could build a wall here. Always have to pay higher than I expect. There's no real uh, hiding place. This is the closest I've come to finding a hiding place. Now, to my knowledge, oh, I suppose I can. Pick up one of those tables, put them here. Sure, I wanna. Oh crap! And being here is not gonna help me. Son of a. Wow. This is frustrating for you and for me. So. Won't help me much this time.
Yeah, four. Now, I didn't realise that these boys fought each other. If I can get him... There we go. You hang around there. Right, now I'm saving. Sorry about that, you probably think I'm a bit of a, a weak player, and you're right. So my objective here, actually, is to build a kind of a wall now. Um, it might help me later on. Now, I don't want to kill him just yet. I want to explore, and build up this wall. Because while he's running around, I've got more time. I can collect some more ammo. Now there's sort of lots of it here. No, but there's no chairs. Now, I'm not sure if this is like a, a good strategy or not, but I'm tired of losing so easily. So, essentially, I'm going to build a huge wall. It's a little bit boring for you to watch me. Now, what seems to happen is that they can't seem to um, move those uh, these these rows of seats. They can't throw them at me. I can't even get it out the door, but I did them. Maybe do this one. Oh, now that's annoying. I managed to get it out the other room. Not this one. Okay, well actually what I'm going to do then is I'm going to leave that as it is because if for some reason I get stuck, I can come in here and take a breather. Because you know, if I... Oh, I can't even get out. Okay, well, I can always put it back in front. So, there were some uh, other places I could get these things. I'm just going to look up here in case there were any... other chairs and tables all right so i'm collecting as many of these weapons as possible now whatever i can't collect i'm carrying put that down there. i'm gonna throw in here Because I really need to plan here because I have been dying so much since playing this and I quite like that if I die a lot as long as it's a fair reason then I'm okay with it but if I die because I'm it's just like a really unfair reason then I'm not so happy so this is all going to pay dividends in the end As far as I'm concerned, this is just about making the, the most of what's around me. Perhaps I'm a crap player, but this is one way of balancing my inability with my planning. So, I know I've got at least two more simulations because I managed to get sort of to three last time. To my knowledge, there's no health on this uh, in this map. So you really have to plan ahead. Right, so a quick save there. Now, I mean, I can. I can't pick these up. I 
and lost him. I'll have to be careful of this. Don't walk into him and kill myself. Now, I can't get out here. I could try building up those um, seats, but I mean, just, oh, there he is. He's around here somewhere. Here him. There he is. Oh, he got in there. All right, well, that will keep him in there until I can uh, finish exploring. Making sure I've got everything possible. Alright, we'll close that in case I want to come in the other way. Just we know that we can't open the doors. All these rooms are locked. Again, I can't get up here, there's nothing valuable down here. Okay, so I'm pretty sure there were other um, benches I could take down here, but if not, I'm sure I carried one out. There we go, look, with a little bit of care, it comes out. So I'm nearly done here. Not sure how I'm going to get into that area, but. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. We'll jump that, see? Now I'm gonna kill him. Should have been a removal man, shouldn't I? There's an innuendo waiting to be regretted there. All right, last one. Now I don't know whether the timer starts once I go back into the simulation. Right, so to my knowledge, I have all of the benches. There we go. So that will give me a chance to be in control. One more safe. And uh, up we go. Sorry, being in here. There's a shotgun there. Right. Here we go. So, wish me luck. <laughs> right. Now, I get some cooking done. I tried putting them on there to see if it gave me any more health, but it didn't. That was a shame. Got a guy here fishing. I tried fishing with him, but I just sort of lost the rod, so I'm not going to do it this time. Now, there might be some really cool things somewhere else. Seems to be the same area. Uh, they've got the. Um, well, it's obviously the same area, but there's different things going on. This time I can cook. I don't know if putting the chef's hat on makes a difference to my health. Does anybody see whether I have more health? Okay. And what happens there? Now, basically, she's in here cutting some salad, uh, melon. All right, how you going there? And in a few moments, we'll get there telling me that um, it's a danger area again. So, oh, I can play a guitar. Oh, I played the guitar the last time. I can't play it this time. I'm going to stay here until the alarm goes off. Oh, 
There it goes. Look, and it's brown. How cool is that? Alright, so I have to go back now. Alright, so I'm saving because... So, what's going to happen is... Every one of those geezers is going to be out there waiting for me. And my job is to kill them all so I can go back in the simulation. Because clearly something's going to happen in the simulation. So, I'm going to use my shotgun because I don't want to... No, I can't lose any life. I cannot lose life. Now, it seems that there are three fast zombies and maybe five zombies. So what I need to happen is to kill the zombies. But I really like it when they use their grenades because they kill everything else. Now, one of the problems is that they can't see me, so they're not all coming towards me. So I'm tempted, but I don't want to ruin my barricade. There it is. Right. So now I'm much more confident about running around and seeing what's going on. I don't really want to waste too much ammo. I've got to be killed though. And I'm not really good at killing zombies with pro crowbars. Right, so here we go. So, my objective, as previously, is to kill the zombies. Whoa. All right. With the shotgun. Oh, come on. And then kill the zombies. All right, come on, come to Papa, come to Papa. I fell in a hole there. Right, now, just a case of very boring, as Muhammad Ali used to say, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Now I'll know when I've killed everything because the sound will go off. There we go, so everything has been killed. I'm going to double check in this room to make sure that the weapons haven't reappeared. Right, I think that wasn't there. I'd already taken that. So, up we go. Right, so again, I'm saving back into the simulation. So my planning has worked. Um, as much as it's not very nice, I don't really know what to do. Needs machine or something. Anyway, here we go. We're back in. So this is the third first time I've reached this one. Okay, night time. Good old Milky Way. Take a screenshot. As soon as that friend has disappeared, what have we got here? Marshmallows. Sitting by the fire. How are you doing? Yeah, you look a bit high. You've been smoking something. Right. I don't want to see. Okay. Oh, look, they've got candles at the top there. They're nice. Wow, that Milky Way is so cool. And I don't mean the texture, I mean the real thing. So we just sit here. Get some. Anything in here that's new? I could explore everywhere, but really, let's just sit here and enjoy each other's company. 
and the song. Are we protected from the combine here, do you think? And there we go, we're back in. So, let's see what we got going. Right, so a proper save this time. And let's see who we can kill off from a distance. Just yet. Okay, he's a zombie. We need the fast ones. Switching to. Come on, jump up, baby. One down. There's another one. Ah, too far away. I've got to jump up so they can see me. I have a feeling that the author didn't expect it to be as bad as me. Oh. Two down! There he is. Whoa, that was lucky, eh? Right, so now we just need zombies. I've only got a few of these. I can't see any zombines. So, jumping over the wall. They must be around, unless they're getting less and less each time. They're down here. I mean, there should be some. There's one. Don't want to stay standing still for too long. Maybe. behind me. So that's one zombie. Two. So I'm gonna... there's another one. Explosion, so that's three. So now I just need to take care of these puppies. Don't get caught in a circle, silly boy! Now I haven't been counting these, but it seems like the same number as last time, although the zombies definitely fewer. Oh! have to be so careful, I've only got 28 health, and I cannot get any more. One good thing about this particular layout is that you can't really get stuck in a corner. Careful that nobody comes behind me because I have a terrible habit of forgetting what's behind me. Right. There. Oh! Oh! It's finished! Well, that was a quick one. Oh, there's my friends. How you doing, buddies? Throw down a rope. Oh, look, you must have heard me. Okay, so I'm happy. This is a, a good game. It, it could have been extended, you could have had that process go on for a little bit longer, but there's no need. All in all, I like it. I'll be talking to the author in a couple of weeks, either by um, either by audio interview or by um, text. So there'll be an interview with him soon. So 
interesting. So thanks for watching, and remember, finishing Half-Life is just the beginning, and keep playing those mods.